Unbound materials include graded crushed stone, gravels and soils. When these materials are used to construct pavement layers, the material is compacted to achieve as high a density as possible, forcing the individual particles closer together. But because of the different shapes and sizes of the particles, and the friction between them, air voids are always present after construction. When a load is applied to this type of layer, it is distributed into the body of the layer by transferring it from particle to particle. If this distributed load exceeds the capacity of the material, particles will start packing closer together as they consolidate, resulting in what we refer to as a localized deformation. As pavement is subjected to repeated loading, small localized deformations accumulate over time. Permanent deformation is measured at the surface in the wheel paths and the amount of deformation is used to define a failure condition. This deformation isn't considered a catastrophic failure, seeing as the road is still serviceable and the material's density is higher than when it was constructed. One concern with this deformation is that water can pond on the surface. Passing vehicles pressurize this water and jets it into the layer. This causes the unbound material to lose strength and its ability to withstand applied loads. Inevitably, this leads to pavement disintegration and potholes. In the next episode, we'll take a closer look at bound materials and how they fail and fatigue.